everybody, it's Miss Nell and today we are going to make ourselves a stress ball to help us with feel good February and feeling great. We've got some flour, a funnel, we're going to need a balloon and some felt tips or sharpies. Alright, so it's actually quite easy. What we're going to do is we're going to first take the balloon and we're going to put the funnel inside because we do not want to mess our flour all over the place. Then we are going to put some flour in and let's hope it works. Let's see if it's going to go through. Might have to shake it a little bit. Might take some time. Now, stress balls are really nice if we're feeling a little bit anxious or if we're feeling worried. What we do is we just squish the stress ball and we get our anxiety or stress or frustration out on the stress ball. And then we can have some time to do something we enjoy. All right, it's working. It's just taking a little bit of time. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to fill this up, maybe I might use, I've got a pen over here, I might try and push it down a bit, oh, that actually works quite well, you probably don't want to use a pen, you probably want to use like a spoon, the back of a spoon or something, but you don't want to press it too much because you don't want to make a hole in the balloon, okay, that's working really well, okay, so you just have to help it go down a bit, shake, 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 Okay, there we go. It's coming along, it's coming along. Now, once your stress ball is done, you can decorate it in whatever ways you can. You can have a spotty balloon, you can choose any color balloons, and you can draw a face on it, or you can give it some hair. You can do whatever you like. Okay. Oh. Did you see that? Oh my goodness. This is going to be a messy job. But that's okay. That is okay. Okay, so Miss Nell's just going to make a small one because else we're going to be here all day. Okay, let me just push a little bit more of the flour out. Perfect. Let's see if I can do this without making too much mess. Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. So then, once you've got enough flour in, you don't actually need to put loads. This is actually quite a good amount. You're going to stretch it and twist it around your finger. You might need some help. And then you're going to pull it through to make a knot. Oh, there we go. And there you go. You can already see that it's really nice and squishy. Now, mine is quite small, okay, because if I, I would be here all day if I filled it up nicely. Okay, so there is my stress ball. Now I can decide what I want to put on it. I have got, I think I'm going to make some beautiful big eyes. I don't know if I've got the right colour, guys. Because my balloon is quite dark. I'm going to make a nice, whoops, smiley face is quite tricky right on the balloon i'm just going to make a smiley face on mine for now but you can do whatever patterns you can give it some eyebrows you can um use some wool and give it some hair you can make it into pineapple you can make it into anything you like if you go on youtube and go have a look um or google and just look at some in images of stress balls there's some really nice ideas so there we go at any time you're feeling frustrated all you got to do is just give it a bit of a squeeze stretch it out well, I hope you've enjoyed learning how to make a stress ball. Happy February. Bye.